everyone. My name is Sarah Webb and I'm the managing editor with Landscape Management Magazine. I'm joined today by Amy Andre and she's the commercial department leader for k and Landscaping in Watsonville, California. Amy, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm doing well, thanks. So can you talk to me just a little bit about your journey in the landscaping industry so far? Yeah, so I started about 10 years ago in the landscaping industry um, by happenstance. I was actually going to school to be an ultrasound technician, um, and I was doing filing work part-time on the side. And as time passed, I just continued to get opportunities for growth that were presented to me, and I started to run the tree care department, I became an account manager, and then I started doing some project coordinating in the construction department. Um, and I really had realized that I found my place when I had been waiting for years to finally submit um, my application to a Kaiser school that was basically for the trade. Um, I'd worked really hard for years to do that. And once I did it and I got the results back, I decided not to open them. Um, because I didn't even want to know. I was super happy in the career that had organically manifested in my life. And I felt like I really was where I needed to be at that time. And I realized that I had a career currently that I enjoyed when I was also going to school for one, which was definitely ironic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very cool. And how long have you been with k and um, A little over two years. Over two years. Yeah. And, and what would you say about the landscaping industry appeals to you in particular? Oh, I would say the people for sure. Um, I'm a people person. I'm a talker. I can make friends with anybody. And the people within the landscaping industry just really have grit, which attracts me. They're no mess, down to earth people who just have this collective goal in mind of getting things done. And what I love most is that you have the opportunity to work as a team in the industry. Um, and you really have no choice because there's no one person that makes the landscaping company successful. It's a constant collaboration between tradesmen, foremen, supervisors, account managers, project engineers, estimators, project managers, you get the picture. I mean, it truly takes the village. Definitely, definitely. And, and what would you say are some of your goals moving forward? Um, moving forward, I mean, our mission here at Candy is to raise the bar in the industry and it's not some tagline that we just slap on shirts. It's actually something that we as a team and I personally truly believe in um, within the landscaping industry and in every day of my life. So in construction, I feel like, um, especially landscapers kind of get this bad rap for being unprofessional or non-compliant or unresponsive. And my team and I strive every single day to just be the best subcontractor on site. Um, we do that by being kind, professional, responsive, respectful, not to mention the qualities, you know, landscapes that we install every single day. And our team truly cares and we're really meticulous in what we do. We don't cut any corners and we stand by our work 100%. And I personally plan to continue the growth of the commercial department and be an advocate for change in the landscape industry and challenging others to raise the bar every single day. Well said. And, and what would you say, you know, in your time so far in the landscaping industry, um, have you come across any challenges so far as a woman in the landscaping industry? And if so, how did you overcome those? Um, yeah, actually, when I became the estimator, I was on the phone with a gentleman at one point that um, said, you know, can I speak with somebody about this estimate, you know, whoever estimated and I said, that's me. And he was like, wow, you're a woman and you're young. Good for you. And I was like, <laughs> well, you know what, good for me, you know? So I, I think that there's a lot of that. Um, there's a lot of, you know, uh, gentlemen in their later years that have kind of been around for a long time that are in the industry. And I think that's intimidating to a lot of women. Um, and you do get a little bit of that kickback sometimes when you talk to people and they, you know, think you're a woman, you know, this is landscape, this is construction. Do you really know what you're talking about? Um, and, you know, I may not be able to do it all myself and actually install a full on landscape and irrigation system, but I can tell you all about it. Um, and I've really done my time. And I think that just having that confidence and knowing who I am and knowing what I've done and the hard work I've put into it really gets me through those times. And it just really kind of gives me that extra um, excitement in what I'm doing, just knowing that it's different and knowing that I'm going against the grain and being successful in that. 
Definitely. And, and so kind of going off of that, what would you say, what do you think that um, women need to be in order to be successful in the landscaping industry? What kind of qualities? I would say grit. That is everything. Hard work. Um, if you can show up every day and produce no matter what obstacles you're facing and um, just get through those moments and those hard times, I think that you'll be recognized and appreciated. And that's something personally that I did. I had no previous experience whatsoever. I just showed up every day and continued to put in my hard work. And I said yes to opportunities that came my way almost every single time. And I think that is probably the biggest thing, just constantly taking on new opportunities and challenging yourself. And I mean, I definitely had moments where I thought to myself, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I just kept grinding and always asking questions and also knowing that Google is your friend. And if you don't know something, Google is always there to help you out. Um, and even, you know, with over 10 years in the industry, I'm still confronted with things almost every day that I'm unsure about. And you just need to have humility and hunger when it comes to these, you know, times when you're feeling unsure. And you have to come to terms with the fact that sometimes you're not going to know everything and you need to be able to search and answer and adapt to new situations in order to be successful. And I think that that goes just for life as well. Definitely. Very well said. And, um, you know, do you have any other advice for women uh, trying to make it in the landscaping industry or anything else you would like to add that we haven't touched on? Yeah, I would say don't be intimidated. I think that there's this big stigma in the landscaping industry, as I previously mentioned, you know, that it's all men and you need to know all about plants and how to install an irrigation system, how to plant a tree. And it's just not true. The landscaping industry is incredibly versatile and diverse. I mean, in our company, we have administrators, front office staff, accountants, HR managers, account managers, project engineers, estimators. I mean, the list goes on. And the best part is all of these positions are trainable. And here at KD, we strive to promote within and we really encourage the growth and we create personalized career paths for each employee, which I think is really important. Um, and it just shows in the success of people that we have in our leadership positions, for the most part, have come down from the bottom up. And I think that um, when you get the opportunity, like myself, just starting filing paperwork and somebody believes in you and recognizes your hard work and you progress through your role and you get different opportunities. Um, I think that really fuels you and motivates you to continue to progress and do good work and put your heart into everything that you do. Definitely. Very well said. Well, I want to thank you again for, for taking the time, especially to do this Zoom with us. It was really great talking with you. Absolutely. You too, Sarah. Thank you. All right. Thanks.